Coming up next on the Green Update, I'm going to have some reaction to the new energy bill that's been tabled by the government. Thanks for watching Newswatch at 5.30. Last week, Greenpeace Canada's executive director stopped in Peterborough, part of a 10-city Ontario tour to promote green climate solutions outside of the arena of nuclear power. Our Green Up correspondent had the chance to speak one-on-one -on -one with the Greenpeace ambassador. Hi everyone, thanks for joining us today for the Green Update. My name is Matt Higgs from Peterborough Green Up and today I'm along the Autonomy River, along one of the many dams here. And I have a very special guest with me, Bruce Cox from Greenpeace Canada. Bruce, uh, there's been a lot of talk about the new Energy Act. Uh, what are your thoughts on it? Well, it's, uh, I think, a good first step. Um, there are a number of things. I think the province taking over uh, approvals on wind and setbacks is mm -hmm. a good thing. I think it starts to establish, there's a number of regulations in there that will be able to establish uh, a more of a market for green energy. Mm -hmm. We have a real concern around the high level uh, of nuclear power that the government remains committed to okay. because we simply don't believe that nuclear is green. Okay. What are some of the things you really, really liked about the Act? Well, if you, um, I think if you look at the fact that the, uh, the energy audits, for mm -hmm. instance, this is, for me, a consumer it's a consumer protection. You're buying a new house, it's the biggest purchase of your life, uh -huh. and uh, there will now be a requirement that there'll be an energy uh, audit done on that. One, I get to know what I'm walking into in this day and age mm -hmm. in a new house uh, with rising costs on energy. I know what I'm getting into when, I, when I'm going there. Mm -hmm. But also, what is the time people actually do the renovations on yes. their house? It's when they first move in. So they start off with a fresh energy audit and they do those really simple things that matter a lot when it comes down to um, you know, improving our climate. And, mm -hmm. and I understand that there was a proposal that they're going to uh, do away with municipalities having control over new renewable energy sources and the government is going to have like one blanket legislation. What do you think about that? Well, I think that's a very good thing. I think, um, you know, I, rather than saying they're taking it, o taking it away from municipalities, I think there's a lot of municipalities that will welcome that. Many small municipalities simply don't have the expertise or the time or the staff in order to look at some of these really complex proposals that are coming forward. I think, um, you know, wind turbines, uh, you know, are a good thing, mm -hmm. but, you know, they need regulation and the province will be able to supply that. So rather than saying it's taking it away from communities, it's actually putting a resource back into communities that they can go to the province and we will have a, you know, it won't be pitting one municipality against the other. And we've seen that um, in, you know, places up along Huron where from virtually one, you know, one township to the next, one concession road to the next, mm -hmm. uh, you have com two completely different um, uh, sets of rules governing what can happen with wind turbines. Okay, and quickly, I understand that there's been some opposition from uh, the other parties. What do you have to say to them? Well, I think the um, you know the the bill will be strengthened when it goes to the house. That's important. Um, I think the uh, the new green economy is going to be. Uh, is going to be based in green energy mm -hmm. and we have to get a move on. We have a very time limited, uh, we're very time limited in making some real changes on climate change and now is the time to move forward. We've had years and years of talk, let's move it forward, let's make the bill even stronger and I would say you can't have a green energy act with 50% nuclear. We have an opportunity right now to where we should really be pushing is let's shut down and phase out the Pickering B nuclear reactors. All right, Bruce, it was great to talk to you today, and I'd like to thank you for joining us for the Green Update, and we'll see you again next week. The Green Update is brought to you by the City of Peterborough, reminding you to separate your recycling into two streams, paper products and film plastics or containers. If you have any questions about today's episode of the Green Update, call Peterborough Green Up at 745-3238.